For the New York Times and the International Herald Tribune, this is Susie Menkes in Rome, Italy, talking to an Italian man who has made it via the United Nations his mission to make products for fashion in Africa. Simone Cipriani, you've got a lot of fancy United Nations titles. What do they really mean? It means that I am a UN officer that produces fashion, the most beautiful, gorgeous, luxurious fashion in the slums of Africa and in Haiti on behalf of some very well-known fashion brands. I know this is true because I have been in Kenya with you. But tell everybody else what it's like to be in the slums in Nairobi, to go up the Great Rift Valley and have these collectives of women working. It's about pure joy and the dignity of work. It's about getting the most beautiful skills you can imagine and some unbelievably beautiful materials to become fashion products and to bring about change, positive change, to change the lives of people for the better, to change the societies of these countries. Because by bringing about work and dignified work, you change society forever. I saw with my own eyes a Maasai woman who was embroidering things for Vivian Westwood and she said to me that this was the first money that she had ever earned in her own right. And when I asked her what she was going to spend it on, she did not say a pair of shoes or jewellery, she said teaching for my children. In this program, in this kind of work, women get regular income. So, first of all, they get emancipated. Secondly, they can make provision for the needs in a more effective way. And the first need they make provision for is education. Because people know, even poor people, they know very well that education is the way out of poverty. And this is the first thing on which they spend money. The second one is health care and sanitation. We record the impact of what we do. We carry out impact assessment. We have a team of social workers who are embedded in the communities and we record a great change in that. We see people who change their house, who improve the sanitation of the house, who start sending the children to school and most astonishingly we see the sons of these women who now grow up respecting their mothers. Therefore these will be men who will be respectful of women. And this is the change. It's evolution. It's not a revolution. It's a natural evolution which comes out of work. I understand that Ethical Fashion Initiative is the correct name. What does that mean? I know that Stella McCartney has a lot of ethical thoughts about her fashion company, but what are ethics when it comes to fashion? It's about responsibility for the future of the humankind. It's about that. Fashion is a powerful vehicle to bring about responsibility because fashion is low, fashion is about the care of the products, fashion is about the work of the artisans, fashion is about quality. Fashion is not about changing things in a very fast way and and exploiting materials and the environment. So ethical means responsible, responsible towards people, to engage people in such a way that they get dignified work out of that. Ethical means responsible towards the planet, towards the future of the planet. But if you are not responsible with people, you are not responsible for the planet. A poverty, uh, emargination are complex issues and they can be addressed by dignified work and fashion. The luxury industry in general has an incredible opportunity there. It has the opportunity to allow people to shape the future for the better. It has the opportunity to allow people to identify themselves with this desire to have a better future. Fashion is about that. It's about giving you an opportunity to identify yourself with something, to have a different self, to have a different identity. This is why fashion is important and can be responsible, but responsible towards people, responsible toward the environment. Otherwise, it's PR. This is Susie Menkes in Rome with Simone Cipriani for the International Herald Tribune and the New York Times.